welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole and today we are doing our back to school haul which of course for me I decided to you know be early and have everything done be very responsible. I got almost all of our school supplies early and just now they're letting us know that they're discussing whether or not they want to um, actually open the schools back or whether there may be another shutdown so of course, I probably should have waited, but at least we're prepared. Either way, they're gonna need these things at some point. So, what we did with this is, um, you know, as far as school supplies, I went ahead and got everything I knew they would need. So I'm gonna, I guess I'll start with that to show you guys that. The morning stuff, we'll start with that. So the things that they need every year, um, pretty much notebook paper, pencils, they're gonna need Highlighters and erasers, um, the teacher supplies like tissues and dry erase markers, just all of that kind of stuff. So we've gone ahead and started getting some of those. I, I'll be honest, I usually get the smaller packs like this. Sometimes it'll say 20 packs, but my kids always take their own pencils and everything anyway. But um, I do have two of pretty much everything because I have two boys in school. But I'm just going to show you guys one because... Once you've seen it, you've seen it. So they did get pencils. Um, actually, these are the black ones. I ended up getting the only ones I saw when I went to the store were originally all the multicolored ones. And then I realized, you know, playing it safe, they may need black because I don't know what colors I use for what. So I went back and got just the plain black ones. And then um, just packs of pens because that's almost always on the list. And then of course they, those are more pencils. Um, they got, what are these called? Colored pencils. <laughs> Sorry you guys, this is the end of quite a long day. One of those days we've got football, we've got doctor things, we have, my son wanted to do another cooking lesson today so that took a little bit longer than usual to make lunch because I showed him how to make nacho casserole which is one of the boys' favorites. So I'll probably end up including that somewhere in a vlog this week, just to kind of show you guys what the ingredients are and how quick it is to throw together, which is great. And I absolutely love okay. that. Sorry, I don't really know what happened there. But getting back into the haul, they have, um, they usually ask for either one or both. So I always just get both kinds of glue for, um, before I even see the list, typically, Typically it will say two glue sticks or two bottles of this or whatever. Everything honestly was so cheap. Um, I happened to be in Walmart for something else and saw that they already had school supplies out and this was maybe a month ago. I've had this stuff for a while and they had things for so cheap. I went ahead and just got anything I thought they may need. So they both have um, both of these kinds of glue. They both have the colored pencils, crayons, um, highlighters, uh, dry erase markers and then of course after I bought everything I saw these really cute kits they have these kits with dry erase markers they'll have all the basic colors and then an eraser and then the spray to help clean the board and they're pretty cheap but I had already gotten the markers and then they had something else and I may actually put a picture of it here somewhere in here right now in this video uh, we were at another grocery store, Albertsons, and they had this little back to school pack. It had, I believe, like eight pencils, a couple of erasers, a couple of highlighters, a couple of dry erase markers. It had several different supplies, you know, in the smaller basic numbers. And the whole thing was like five bucks and it was all in this one cardboard little kit that had all of your basic supplies, which I thought was really, really cool. But again, I had already bought <laughs> so many supplies, so I said for next year, but I've course being me and I did take a picture of it so I'll be ready looking for that next year um some more other things I think these are all just doubles now at this point some things they already did put in their book bags you can see one of them back here and then my younger son was nice enough to let me show his new set because he got a new matching set that he loves so this is uh Cruz's new set he loves Adidas. He's a little soccer kiddo now. So he loves Adidas. He loves black and gray. Both my kids love black and gray. They love that classic, sharp, very cool look. 
and we actually saw the book bag first we were looking for book bags so this is the book bag he picked out it's this really cute black and gray adidas and then you can see his little my kids carry sanitizer on sanitizer on sanitizer <clears throat> especially during covid so this is the one he wanted on his book bag he's also a big star wars junkie so he saw the little mandalorian one and baby yoda i just i mean who doesn't love baby yoda i know he has a name but for me he's baby yoda and that works just fine but this is little his little keychain one that he got and then he does actually have another sanitizer in the front part of his book bag along with it's becoming a what's in my bag video now <laughs> but he's oh okay so he threw extra sanitizer in there it's my kiddo and then just little tissues and things like that that he'll need are in his front pocket see we've already be begun putting a lot of the supplies away so i probably should have done this video before but there's his book bag that he picked with his sanitizers and tissues and whatnot and the book bag is really nice it has kind of the rounded straps and everything's very padded and it has a second compartment back here that's very padded to hold a laptop and the kids use chromebooks at school so that'll be perfect if they need to take those but in his main compartment here oh i'll show you this first the boys both chose new water bottles this is the one that cruz chose it's uh just a stainless steel i think this is a 16 ounce just one of the contigo brands they make so many uh funny story my older son had trouble choosing his and finally i had to help him make the decision he's like mom i just don't know help me and i'll show you that later there's a little story with my older son's cup and everything but this is the one cruz chose it's just this really pretty shade of blue and it fits as you can see perfectly in the side and actually okay guys with a lot of book bags my kids have had trouble keeping their water bottles in the size because they tend to tip and they're pretty weak and usually fairly short this one like this is a 16 ounce water bottle and this comes most of the way at the water bottle so if you guys have an issue maybe look at adidas because i was very pleasantly surprised with that Sorry, I just completely knocked the camera over. Hopefully we're not too crooked now. Sorry guys, I completely knocked the tripod out. My bad. Okay, I think we were just starting to foray into Cruz's new book bags. So if I can find the zipper, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so the news, okay. Another backstory. Uh, my older son loves the old Space Jam, the original with Michael Jordan. I should say old. That came out when I was a kid, I'm not old. My older son loves the original Space Jam and the boys are um, so excited to go see the new one, but my younger one hadn't seen the first one yet. So we decided it was okay to skip and then we'll do a family movie night and he'll go back and see the old one. But in the meantime, he found some goodies. So they had this, I wanna say it was like a $5 set, but they had this little holographic Space Jam set that had the notebook, the folder and then LeBron James there which of course he's been my favorite forever and now the boys love him too which I just think is so cool but there's also a binder that goes with it I don't know if it's in the back but the set came with the notebook the folder and the binder um, for the new Space Jam movie yeah here it is and they're all holographic and very I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, and it's like a nice, decent quality binder, but everything's laminated and the kids think the holographic part is so cool. But yeah, the set for the binder, the folder, and the notebook, five bucks, and they're good quality. So there's all of that. I just thought it was so cute. And then, okay, you guys see how this is sort of a bluish holographic look? So my little Star Wars junkie, and he already put pencils in it, found a holographic Star Wars pencil box. So this kid is balling for his new school year. He's excited because he's got some very cool gear that he really likes, but he actually wanted this other pencil box he saw that was Super Mario, I think, and then he ended up seeing this. And you guys, this kid is Star Wars crazy. 
but um, which is cool because this one was slightly cheaper. But the holographic kind of goes with his new Space Jam stuff, so that just worked out quite nicely. And then the lunchbox. This is the lunchbox that comes with the set. It looks perfect, but it's not. But um, this was actually somewhere else in the store. I just happened to turn around and see it, thank goodness, because it matches the book bag, you guys can see. But what I love about this lunchbox, I'm gonna show you, not only does it have a separate front container for a snack, because they usually do a snack in the morning um, before they do their lunch. The back, you can put forks, napkins, whatever else they may need for their lunch. And then what I really like, these are some of the meal kits I'm gonna show you, but what I love about this book bag, it, book bag, what I really like about this lunchbox is the bigger meal container kits because the kids um, have used uh, lunch kit type containers for their school lunches for a couple of years now, but I found ones that are a little bit bigger than the ones they used to use. And not only does it fit perfectly in there, but if you can tell, there's still plenty of room to put their milk or juice box, which I love. This, it seems pretty compact. Like, I don't know if it's the way it's made, but it seems very slim and compact, but it fits the bigger um, bento lunchbox kits, and there's plenty of room to throw a drink on top, or you could put it back here, but there are just so many perfect compartments on this lunchbox. You guys, seriously, if you're looking for a good set, I would look at the Adidas ones this year. We got this, uh, I think Marshall's is where we got this set. And then what else is nice about this lunchbox is it's fully insulated, so it will keep anything cold, hot. I love it, you guys, it's... It's a really good set. So these are mostly cruises, kind of back to school things. And then, so my older son, he's still deciding between two book bags. Um, we saw this new one, but it's a little smaller than he's used to. And then he's got his one he used last year, which has like 114 compartments, or at least that's what it seems like. And he really liked having all that storage. Although we got to the point we have to do weekly cleanouts because that book bag turned into a black hole, which is what I was actually not a fan of. At first I thought, well, storage, that'll be great. You give a kid too much storage and they're gonna use it. And some of the cleanouts with that book bag just, you guys, I, I'm pretty sure I found one of his school friends in there one time. Anywho. So he's still deciding, so his book bag isn't in here. And then that's the one thing we still need to get for him is a bigger lunchbox. He does have his lunchbox from last year, but I, he's 13, almost 14. He plays sports. He's taller than I am. He needs a lot of food. So I really want to get him a bigger lunchbox. So that's the one thing we do have left to get. And I'll probably throw that in a vlog if we find a good one. But, and like I said, they do have a lot of meal kit containers for their lunches as well. So I just grabbed a couple more. We didn't have this kind before. This is, it's just the Sistema brands you can get at Walmart or anywhere. Um, Albertsons, we found it at Rayleigh's. But this one is called the Quad Split. I don't know if you guys can see it. This, each of these four containers are quite large, which I love. So they can do, you know, berries in one, the half sandwich in another. Um, like their little pinwheel roll-ups. There's so many different things. I kind of love just the four equal compartments of this one. So I'm excited to try this. And then this other one, it's just the, um, not off-brand, but it's the Sistema version of the Bento. This is just the Bento um, style lunch kit, which if you guys aren't familiar, they're pretty popular now, so you've probably heard of these, but these are set up a little bit different. They, the um, levels actually lift out, so there's another level underneath. And then, like this one lifts out as well. And then this one holds just a little covered container for if they use dip or maybe small berries. My older son likes pomegranate seeds, so this would be really good for that. But that's how the little um, 
bento style are set up and it's close to the same size as this so and those are and the boys like blue because it go well Cruz wanted blue because it just kind of goes with his water bottle and his space jam stuff so that's sort of his color he's rolling with this year and then my older son um like i said both of my boys really like uh black and metallics black and white gray very classic very sleek colors um at least for things that they're wearing or carrying and my older son I'm gonna show you why he decided on what he decided on. So he happened to spot this little pencil pouch. Uh, Vince, my older son, loves black and gold. It's his favorite combination. He thinks everything in the world should come in black and gold because it just looks so good. This boy has designed black and gold automobiles, okay? And he loves Marvel. He thinks it looks really nice. So he saw this little pencil pouch which he already has like five but he happened to see this one and fall in love it's just black and white marble with gold trim on it and it's the pen and gear um brand but he saw this and just absolutely had to have it so this is his little pencil pouch for the year and the material inside is pretty wipeable which i like but I wanted him to have a bigger uh, water bottle because the one he's been carrying the last couple years is they've all been, <clears throat> pardon me, they've all been 16 ounce water bottles. And like I said, he's bigger than I am. He's in sports. He needs hydration. So uh, this brand uh, built, um, theirs are supposed to be pretty good about keeping drinks hot or cold, but oh here it says it'll keep it hot for six hours and cold for 24 hours but this is a 30 ounce tumbler which i love and i asked him if he was okay because if you can see this one is wider at the top than the bottom and i asked him if he was okay with one that he couldn't get in the side of his book bag to stay and he said those things never stay well anyway i'm fine with carrying it but if you guys can see it's black with white marbling and he was deciding between this and two much more colorful patterned ones and he ended up deciding on this and had me go back and get this one because he's just gonna go with all of his marble accessories this year looking very chic and um the older my boys get especially my older son they're very just they love you know they live for the aesthetic they love it um my son's football team this year they're almost all black with a hint of neon and I think it's neon pink mostly. He was a little bummed about not getting on the team with his former teammates that he wanted to but he wasn't mad about the color scheme so it worked out. But um, okay guys so hopefully the lighting is okay. I actually if you can tell my couch is moved completely differently than where it is normally because my couch is normally against the wall where the lighting is all from one side and it's just not a great look so that's why my couch is temporarily pushed here but i think we've shown you pretty much everything from our back to school haul like i said we already have put some things away and my older son we do still need to get him a bigger lunch bag and he's still deciding which book bag he wants to take so those are in his room because he's going through whatever process he needs to go to to figure it out but we have pretty much everything taken care of. The only things we don't have, when they put out the lists, they'll usually ask for specific colors of say, they'll need a two and a half inch binder and then a red notebook and a blue notebook and a green folder. That's how they organize their things. So those are the only things that I'm waiting to get until I find out exactly what they need, but everything else we were taken care of. I've even got a lot of the snacks and the uh, foods for their lunches that aren't you know fresh produce or don't have to be bought very uh, recently within the time frame you're going to use them so uh, they like to do the little cliff bars for their school snacks I've already got a lot of stuff like that to put in their lunches and we've got pretty much everything we need so as long as they still actually go back to school in a few weeks here knock on wood um, I think we're pretty much set and the boys are pretty excited they last year they did go back to school in person last year for the last few months um it went pretty smoothly but now that this new delta variant is back out um i'm a little apprehensive my younger son is 
uh, immune compromise. So it's something that, you know, I, I just like to be prepared. So we're doing a lot of preparing. Uh, the kids are already taking their green smoothies and their vitamins every single day. Uh, we're making sure to get a lot of exercise, fresh air, sunlight, everything to get their immune systems back up. And this summer has been a rough one as far as getting sick and injuries. We've had kind of, we've had a little bit of a rough summer, you guys, but we're bounced back um, for the most part. I think we're pretty good. We're pretty prepared. Um, the boys are excited. I'm, I'm somewhat excited, a little bit apprehensive, but we'll see how it goes. And hopefully we'll be bringing you a first day of school vlog soon here. So until then, thank you guys so much for joining me and let me know what kind of school products you guys are really loving. For this new school year just drop a comment below and let me know your absolute favorites especially as far as organization goes let me know until next time thank you guys